Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Slim, and I just got done doing a little meditation for myself. Ah, much needed on a day like today. It is Tuesday. Um, not sure what the exact date is. I believe it is Tuesday the... Oh my gosh. Oh well, I don't know the date, but um... I wanted to make this video. Excuse the noise if you guys hear children outside playing. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I just had to take a moment for myself to get clear, get my energy back, uh, in a more, uh, centered kind of space. I was a little thrown off this morning when I woke up, and I just wanted to share a little bit about my experience this morning and what I was going through. So I just got braces a week ago, so if you guys see like them and see that I'm like a little awkward with them or whatever, like I'm still getting used to them, so that's what's up with that. And um, I'm trying to get comfortable here on my little meditation pillow space and with my phone and everything. Okay. Oh my gosh. So I'm just Ah! Okay. Alright. <laughs> oh my god. So. Alright. So. Story time. So I woke up this morning. And today was literally like the last day of my. I was going to say my sister. Today's my sister's birthday. So shout out to Mariah. She just turned 26 today. My sister in Chicago. Um, but today was my daughter's last day of school and tomorrow she graduates and oh my gosh I'm just feeling like I didn't even know I'd be feeling anything really I mean most parents feel like excited and you know whatever like typical feelings and of course I am excited for her and just in general but um I felt kind of like emotional, like this wave of emotion just like over surfaced me. And um, really, it just kind of scared me because I'm like, oh my God, like my, I am, I have a child that is going to middle school and it just kind of put things into perspective with where I'm at and with time. And the fact that my daughter is this big now, and the fact that, like, life is just constantly in motion, constantly going, and it can be scary, you know, how quickly things change and shift and grow. And, um, you know, I'm actually a newlywed, so I got married this time last year. Uh, on the 21st, the first day of summer. So I have an anniversary I'm going to be celebrating coming up pretty soon <laughs> uh, with my husband. And, you know, we've been together for a while. And, like, you know, this is our first year being married. So we're, we dated for a couple of years before and then got married. And, um, you know, like, just the typical society, like, pressures that we place upon ourselves because thank god like no one is like oh my god why are you having a baby da, da, da. like it comes up but not in a way where it's like feeling like pressure you know so we're very grateful for that experience and um and so <laughs> me being the girl me just turning 30 like this past may i'm you know it's always in the back of my head like, oh my gosh, like, and it's in the back of my head because the fact that I am married, I found the love of my life, and it's like, I just didn't get to experience, you know, raising a child with someone who I was in love with, and so 
I have that now, but it's like I already got the child earlier because he met my daughter when she was like five, four or five years old. So technically, um, and you know, well, yeah, technically he's been with her since then and we've raised her together and in the whole nine, like he's really played a huge role in her life, especially throughout her schooling and just in general, like we live together, we're family. And so he's always told me cause he's so sweet and just, this is just how he is, whatever. He's just like, you know, if it never happened, like I would never feel not satisfied because, you know, I didn't get to have my own. Like I basically got to experience raising a child. I got to feel what that feels like and it just, it's amazing and I love it and I'm so grateful for that. Thank you for giving me that. And I'm just looking at him like, you're crazy. Like I totally get it, but I just feel like you know, he should get to experience his own. And part of me wants to, like, I, I'm, I do and I don't. I do, I, oh, I do. But it's like, there are big dreams that I have and big shoes that I want to fill, you know, and it's like hard to do everything. And so I was thinking, well, I have braces right now. So my singing career is kind of like on hold the performing aspect of it, even though I am going to be performing, um, this year, I have a show this Halloween, but like, as far as like, you know, really like performing and singing goes, like I'm really just taking this time to focus on other parts of my music career while my braces are on, you know, which is for about a year. I didn't say that earlier, but yeah. <laughs> And so, um, I'm like, dude, I can have braces, be pregnant, you know, be doing my thing and, you know, but life, you know, is the way it is and it just is not the right time, you know, for various reasons that we have to be mindful of, you know, and, you know, more so on the material world aspect of you know, we need the space, you know, we live in a two bedroom apartment, we would need to move. And then that comes with its own, you know, da -da 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 -da, all that stuff. Um, and, you know, just really feeling in like inside, like, do we really want to do this right now? Of course, we both want kids. Of course, we both want to have kids with each other, but it's still not clicking as far as like, you know, is this the right time to do this thing, you know? And it's just like, ah! So I, like, was in my head this morning, and then <laughs> we talked about it, and then I, you know, spent the day with myself because I'm an entrepreneur, so I, you know, work for myself, and I took some time today to kind of just, you know, process it on my own. And really like come into meditation finally you know I was I was really drained and I've been drained I've been doing a lot lately and so basically um, I feel like we just have to trust the timing of our lives as we always hear and trust that whatever's meant to be will happen and that it can't be forced it can't be planned Nothing in my life was forced or really planned, so I definitely can see that being a fact. Um, and I guess just not worrying. And the reason why I'm worrying is because I'm the girl. I'm the one that has to have the baby. I'm 30 years old, and I don't want to be too old to have a child, you know. And then at the same time, like, I want to accomplish my goals as a singer and... Of course, there's singers out there who have kids, so it's like I shouldn't even be, like, tripping. Like, literally, Cardi B performed on stage with her pregnant belly, and then there's Beyonce. So, it's like, it shouldn't even be an issue. My slogan is, like, you can have it all, you know, and that's what I want to promote. That's what I want to showcase through my life, through my inspiration, through just everything. And so, I need to, and like I did 
take a step back and get out of that fear-based, you know, mind state of like, oh my gosh, like, it's not going to happen, or if it doesn't happen, then, oh, that's just going to ruin everything, which it's really not, but it's just, you know, as a woman, at least as for me, I just feel like it's important that I get to share that experience with my husband, and just because, you know, he doesn't have kids of his own, and I just know that, you know, we would... I just, I just, my intuition tells me that that would be a very beautiful experience. And I think maybe another ooh, reason why I'm thinking about it too is because my mom just moved. <laughs> so like we're finding a lot of old pictures that are coming up of like my child and like of me when I was a baby. And then my mom gave me like all this baby stuff. She's like, yeah, this is for you when you have your kid. And I'm just like, oh. When I have my kid, when am I having my kid? And oh my gosh, but I need to do this first and I want to do that. And my daughter is going to middle school, so I've already raised my kid. Now my friends are like having their children, and it's like, you know, I just did things so early, and it's like my timeline is just so much different than most people. And so it just kind of like makes me feel like, ah, you know. Um, and I was expressing that a lot of things happened later for me, I feel, you know, like I didn't get married when I was like in my early 20s and, you know, the things that you think will happen or whatever, like, did not work out that way. But everything that I've wanted so far has worked out. And so that's another thing, um, just keeping the faith. And knowing that we are making progress, whether we feel it or not, whether we truly see it or not, we are. I came across a video on my Facebook today, and it was super motivating for me to, like, listen to. And I was just like, oh, my gosh. And it was me speaking, like, how I am now. And it was, like, one of my first videos I ever did, I guess, or, like, earlier on. And I went on to say, like, you know... Um, I'm going to be confident in my own skin, you know, like, I'm not going to worry about my teeth, things like that. One day I will have my million dollar smile. And it's like, here I am sitting with freaking braces on my face because that day is literally on the way now. You know, this was something that I never thought that I would have anytime soon anyways. And then look, it's here. So I say that to say, like, we just need to trust the process. We need to trust the timing of our life. We need to live in the present. I keep dropping my crystals. <laughs> Live in the present and really, um, you know, just continue to work hard and know that our visions and the things that we feel are for a reason. They're inside of us because we can't accomplish them. I don't care how many times I frustrate myself with my situation, with my confusion of, you know, maybe ignoring my passions you know at certain points in my life which is not happening anymore but it went on for a while and due to just you know not being settled or stable or any of that and you know it's just obvious that I know what I'm supposed to be doing it's just a matter of like doing it which I am <laughs> but I feel like everybody knows like you know, people say like, oh, I don't know what my purpose is. I don't know what I should be doing. But it's like we know what we should be doing. And we're just afraid of our own power. We're afraid of doing it. And because it would be the greatest manifestation to come true. It would just light up our whole world. And that can be scary. Like success can be scary. And I feel like that is, you know, kind of what I've felt from from my experience so in my meditation today I meditated because I was experiencing those emotions as far as like having a child and thinking about that whole thing and then I pulled two cards for myself and I got as far as my message that I need to know today it's called Saravati I can't really pronounce it this is from my goddess deck and it says express yourself through creative activities so I'm like, perfect, I'm gonna make a YouTube video and talk about what I'm feeling and what has went on today. So my energy's a little bit like, eh, because it drained me, you know, on top of just being super busy earlier this week. The next card that I got is freedom. <laughs> You're releasing any self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness. 
and that's all I want to be is just open to what my heart truly desires and what I know I'm called to be doing and I know what that is what that is is me being an artist as a singer and songwriter and what that also is is me healing others through my lifestyle brand here at Escape Slam through these videos through my Reiki healing that I'm actually going to be um, taking a course on this summer which I'm super excited next month so I'll be Reiki certified in level two um, there's four different levels and I'll probably take the other two on a special trip to Miami where my Reiki master is located and I just can't wait like this is something that I can incorporate with my yoga as well I'm a yoga teacher and this is something that I can incorporate through my massage practice as well and just in general Reiki healing energy healing um, I do intuitive guidance which is my life coaching practice I don't really like to call it life coaching but I like to call myself an intuitive guide because I like to feel and experience where somebody is at on an energetic level and on a personal level and on a soul-to-soul -soul connection type of level and really just see if you know I can hold space for them with where they're at with what they're experiencing more specifically um, related to what I've gone through because that's really the only way that I can serve I don't typically work with people that I haven't you know gone through what they've gone through but if I'm able to shed light and love on situations that you know I haven't been through and if it resonates with them then that's great but I usually like to stick to like if I've been through it too so and I find that my interaction with them on a uh, escapee type of level which I call them my escapees instead of clients it's much stronger when I can literally say I've walked where you've where you've gone I've been through that before you know I mean obviously and if you're able to overcome something it's your duty to help the next person that maybe still be in that place in that dark place or just experiencing whatever they're going through so that's pretty much what my life purpose is <laughs> I'm an artist I'm a healer I'm a light worker and I'm here to spread light and love and just show the world that like we can be free once we get out of our limited beliefs and like this material world that we are supposed to live up you know up to its standards and you know even when it comes to YouTube and showing up a certain way like I have no makeup on I'm just in my real raw setting of just getting out of meditation and this is just how I'm feeling and I'm trying to express it the best way that I can um, you know, instead of just going off of like notes or script or something. So I hope that this video resonated with somebody out there who may be feeling similar ways. And just for you to know that like, we have to believe in our vision and hold that vision like a tiny mustard seed. And I think this is something that comes from Jesus, like... I heard on Oprah like literally and I had said in my other video that I found today that was helpful for me and I shared it on my Facebook um, but as long as we have that little spark that is enough to make that miracle manifest one day if we just never give up hope and faith on ourselves and on our visions they're so loud out there sorry the kids and on our and on our dreams so um, yeah, I'm going to get busy, you know, embracing more of my freedom, my free spirit, and more of my artistry and not ignoring that because of fear. <laughs> and, um, you know, showing up and, and being in all of my glory, you know, being seen in all of my glory, as Jim Carrey would say. So, risk being seen in all your glory and knowing that the acceptance that you want from others can literally make you feel invisible so don't worry about being accepted by others do you be you stay true to yourself um this is what my music is all about as well just little side note in there um my music 
is all about, you know, inspiring you to be your truest, authentic self and giving you real life experiences that not only I went through, but that other people that I've known went through, that I've witnessed, that I've just learned of to inspire as well. And, um, yeah, we just got to keep, uh, keep that spark <laughs> and, um, no matter how scary or hard it gets, you know, and, and really staying connected to source and God and love and light, because that's, what's going to pull us through. That's, what's going to help us to see those brand new days that we really want to experience for our lives. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't give up. I love you so much. Um, thank you for watching my video and being a part of my channel here. If you're not already, please subscribe if you enjoy the vibes and there will be surely more to come along the way. And um, I'm just wishing you a beautiful evening or day or morning or afternoon, wherever you are in the world. And if you want to learn more about me, you can hit me up down in the links below. I am on Facebook. YouTube, obviously, and Instagram, Snapchat, all those, um, you know, different handles and everything. So I look forward to seeing you guys. And if you're in the San Diego area this summer, please get, let's get together for some yoga. I offer public yoga sessions in different, beautiful, various locations here in my city. So, um, yeah. I look forward to meeting all of you and thank you again for joining. See you later.